finished or seamed my knit fabric, but now I wonder how am I gonna finish my edge here? I don't have a machine that will do that for me, but using a uh, the same zigzag stitch, making a few adjustments, and the optional over casting foot, I am able to finish off this fabric edge. Now on this foot you'll notice there's a toe, and the great thing about this toe is that's where the edge of my fabric is going to ride up against. Then there is actually what I call a little pin. And what this pin does is it helps suspend the needle thread to the edge of my fabric so it kind of connects with that bobbin thread along that edge to create almost an edge fin finish. Now I'm still going to use that same uh, zigzag or overcast stitch which is stitch number C or letter C. I am going to adjust my stitch length from my setting for seaming to about two and a half and then I'm going to take my width to five because I want that zigzag stitch or overcast stitch really to cover my fabric. I'm going to change out my presser feet and then I'm going to place my fabric underneath my presser foot. Place these threads underneath here and I am going to align the edge of my fabric against that toe. Now, when I'm using a knit, because a knit is a little softer, what I really try to do is always make sure that my fabric goes to almost the back side or toe of my presser foot so that I know that uh, I'm not going to get bogged down at that beginning. I'm gonna start a little slower so that we can see how that stitch goes across that pin as I'm stitching. So again, that pin helps suspend that thread or carries that needle thread or threads to the fabric edge. As I come closer to the end, I am going to stop, take my needle out of the fabric, raise my presser foot, I'm going to cut that thread and then I'm going to take a look. See how beautiful that edge finish is? And again, that edge finish, just like my seam, stretches with my fabric. But look at the fabric edge, how that fabric edge is covered on that knit fabric. Now, there will be times where you may not want to use an overcast or over edge stitch on your knit fabric, but I think when you're ready to do that or the situation calls for it, this is the ideal way to finish that edge. And it's all accomplished with a the simple zigzag stitch and that optional accessory of that overcasting foot. All this is done on the Baby Love Joy. Mm -hmm.